today I'm going to be talking to you about how I think and work as when I do abstract work. First of all, I don't work on just one canvas. I work on several at the same time. And uh, you'll see how I do this process. But here I'm sitting in front of my painting and I'm putting a shape down. I don't there's several ways I work. One of the ways I work is just putting shapes down or lines. In this case, I have a hard shape. Now I'm thinking, well, where do I want to put the next shape? Um, hmm, should I put it there? Uh, well, we'll try. We'll see what, now how does that feel? Hmm. You know, they're almost equal distance from each other and from the sides. I'm not sure if I really like that, but uh, let's put this shape in there. Let's see. I think I want some sort of shape there. Maybe I'll make a circle. Anyway, I, you just put shapes down and you see what happens to the canvas and you begin to develop a visual language, a nonverbal visual language. Well, now I have kind of created an in interesting tension between that small shape and that big dot in the line. Well, now let's see what am I going to do here. Let's see, I could lay some little shapes, dots down. Mm, I think I'm going to put a large shape in, just some sort of large shape and see how that works. But see, now the moment I do that, I'm starting to see the area. I created a, 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 a sort of a corridor between the edge of the line and the shape that I just made. Oh, I'm going to have some coffee. So what happens is that I've become acutely aware of the kind of what what the lines, what kind of boundaries, where my focus does. And really, it's, it's just training me to become more, more aware. Like sometimes I like things that I put down and sometimes I don't, but I can always cover them over. And that's the whole idea. Let's see now, I think I'm going to put a shape in there. I think that's a good place to put a shape. So let's do that. We'll put that in there. And we're going to have it. So now we have sort of a some circular shapes going here. And you notice, for me anyway, not all abstract artists don't think this way, but I think a lot about the negative spaces I create on the, and that now I have a really narrow corridor between that line, initial line, and that round, new roundish shape. And that's kind of interesting. I wonder what I should do next. And so I think about it, and, and it's not like I just, I could just put marks on everywhere, and uh, sometimes I do, but today I'm not doing that. I'm just being, I think I'm going to change my brush. But the whole idea for me is to, um, I have this, this is a junk board where I just put things, and sometimes I, after a while, use that as a basis for a painting. So. As you can see, some of them are planned and some of them are not. And so, but it's a different way of thinking about painting. You don't go into it with a clear idea. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to make. You, you are going in there and making shapes and lines and forms and, and watching what that does to the space. What kind of shapes are you making? What does it feel, where does your eye travel uh, when you lay down the shape? So the whole thing is just really, uh, it's a way to explore. And, and you don't think about finished product. You think about, well, what will happen if I do this? Or what would happen if I did that? At least that's how I'm thinking about it right now. And and as a child, I always just liked playing with color and playing with lines and seeing that I could make a mark. And it's like I'm able to do that again as an adult. And at this time, though, I'm much more observant. 
I'm learning to be much more observant of what happens when I change the shape of the line. When I change the feel, what kind of space am I creating in here? And here I'm just, just saying, oh, well, what's that? I mean, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't, maybe I'll do something else. All of that is part of, uh, you know, just, it's, it really is a process that allows you to explore all the possibilities in a very short amount of time of what you could do with a surface. Now here, as you can see, I'm, I'm sort of taking some of the wet paint and moving it around and rubbing it into different places in the painting. And it, it's not planned other than to a certain extent, I'm putting it and moving it, but it's not, you know, very precisely planned. And it's relatively quiet compared to the other shapes. Uh, the, the new shapes I made in there. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at that and thinking, what should I do next? And uh, But I'm not worried. And, and that's the thing is I figure, ah, uh, you know, I can always cover this over. I can always do something, put something on top of it. And so I think right now I'm going to get myself some real thick, full-bodied white paint and put it on my palette and uh, clean my brush, my palette knife, right right on, on the board and get some interesting edges that way. Clean it off. Put my cover back on my paint. But I don't... It, it's, it's a totally different feeling. It's really liberating because I'm really just exploring what I can do with my brush, what I can, what kind of shapes I can make, what happens when I put the shapes near each other. Does it create different feelings, different uh, division of space? Where does my eye go? And uh, it. It, it, you know, and yet I'm not worried. Now, you see, there's my palette. I've got my palette. Now, in, in the class I was taking, they had actually tubes. Uh, they didn't use tubes of paint. Uh, they used um, bottles of paint, but I don't do that. I think it would be nice, but uh, I, I kind of like doing it this way. And so now I'm using that big brush, and I think I'm going to fill in a value, make another darker shape, high contrast shape. It's not a dark, dark 10. It's more like a, maybe an 8 or, or a 7. But it, it reads as a dark, dark shape. So I just, now I'm going to speed it up. It's got the surface like it's eight times what it normally the speed of what I normally work at. But I wanted you to see that it's not done quite this fast. Although though it could be done that fast, but I sometimes am just feeling it out and making decisions and slowing down. But anyway, that's I think I decided here to make it a little lighter. So and that's the beauty of acrylic. It dries fast and it lets you work with the shapes and do different things. But I'm really seeing I'm playing and, and finding out what I can do. Now I have like a several circular ideas running at the same time. Um, in my early paintings, when I started doing abstraction, everything was really strong diagonals and it was very harsh and it was a little scary. I also wipe things off I put down. Sometimes I'll put something down and take it right back again. Uh, but I don't, you know, I'm just really playing with the shapes and I just play and I, I don't say, oh, this isn't working out right away. I don't worry about it. Um, that way I keep myself on task and, and I relax. And now I'm working with a, like a very pale, uh, 
white with a little gray, and it's a very quiet conversation. When I say quiet conversation, it means the area is not high contrast. And these big black bold shapes are uh, black, dark gray are really the loud conversation. Now I'm looking at that. I'm thinking, what should I? Oh, I think I'm going to soften the edges of those. 